Hello everybody, welcome to Trans E Learning Chemistry videos. Today you will be discussing about significant figures and in that we'll be covering the practice problems related to significant figures. This is the third video related to practice problems. Here is the first question. I have taken those three numbers as benchmark which tell us the position of the zero when it is considered as significant and when it is not considered as significant. So write the number of significant figures. First of all, as per the rule one, we know that every non-zero digit is considered to be as significant. For this, after the decimal point, we have two zeros. So when we have the trailing zeros in a decimal number, as you can see here we have a decimal number and here we have a trailing zero. Uh, here we have a decimal point and this is a decimal number. Here we have trailing zero. That means zero to the right of a non-zero digit. This is considered as significant as per the rule 5. The number of significant figures will be 1, 2, three four five Let's see this one, 1.05. First of all, as per the rule 1, the non-zero digits are considered as significant. As per the rule 2, the zero, which is between two non-zero digits, is considered as significant. As you can see, zero is considered as significant. So, number of significant figures will be 1, 2, and 3 this one. First of all, as per the rule 1, the non-zero digits are considered as significant and this is a whole number. It doesn't have a, a decimal point and we have the zero to the right of a non-zero digit. So, as per the rule 3, the trailing zero in a whole number is considered as not significant. That means if the zero occurs to the extreme right of a non-zero digit in a whole number, that means a number without a decimal point, it is not considered as significant. So number of the significant figures will be three. So all you have to remember when we have a decimal number then zeros to the right that is the trailing zeros are considered as significant but if we don't have a decimal number we have whole number then the zeros on the extreme right hand side that the trailing zeros are considered as non-significant. Now let's see the second question. Write the number of significant figures. First of all the rule one that non-zero digits are considered as significant and as per the rule 6 that the powers are not considered significant. So the number of the significant figures will be 3. As per the rule 1 the non-zero digits are considered as significant and as per the rule 6 the power is not considered as significant so the number of significant figures will be 3 this one first of all as per the rule 1 that the non zero digits are considered as significant then we have the rule 6 that the powers are not considered significant now what about this zero. As you can see here that is, this is a decimal number. So when we have a decimal point and we have a decimal number then the trailing zero that means zero to the right of a non-zero decimal number is considered as uh, significant as per the rule 5. So the number of significant figures in this uh, number will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's see the third question. What is the difference between 6.0 gram and 6.00 gram? First of all, we'll take the uh, number of significant figures. And this, the number of significant figures are 2. Uh, why? Because as per the rule 1, the non-zero digit is considered as significant and as per the rule 5, we know that the trailing zeros in a decimal number, in a decimal point, is considered as zero. So this is considered as significant. Same goes for here. As for the rule 1, and the rule 5. The number of significant figures will be 1, 2 and 3. If we see 6.0 gram, we can see that this is in up to one decimal place. So that means this number has a precision of one decimal 
place and if we consider this number 6.00 gram this is up to two decimal places so that means this number has a position of two decimal places so if you want to know the difference between these two is first in terms of significant figure this has two significant figure and this has uh, three significant figures we know that more the number of the significant figures more is the precision or the accuracy of that number right so here the significant figures are three and second thing that it precision is up to two decimal places so this number that is 6.00 gram will be more accurate as compared to 6.0 gram so this was the difference between these two in terms of significant figures and decimal places in terms of precision Thank you very much for watching this video. For more videos, you can visit our website transelearning.com. Have a great day.